Hi guys, it's me Karen and I've come to show you a project I'm doing and I'll show you a little bit about it here. This is a piece of wood that I've covered in chalk paint and I'll show you the paint and I've stenciled it with a stencil I made with my Cricut and it's this and this is just a piece of paper. It's a cardstock. It's called um, mirror board. Okay, so you can almost see everything through here. <laughs> but it is a, uh, a heavy duty cardstock. And I used it because it's shiny, number one, and I'm using ink to do the darker colors on here. And because it's shiny, the Tim Holtz ink tool slides over it really easy and you can wash it off and use it multiple times. And I didn't have any like uh, plastic, so I just cut it on my Cricut with the uh, setting on it to, um, it's called a poster board. So I set it on poster board to cut and it cut it really nicely. This is the uh, chalk paint that I used and it's uh, just charcoal and I just put it on this is one coat on here and then like I said I used the ink to get the dark on here and I'll show you how I did that on a piece of um, cardboard that I painted in the same uh, chalk paint and all I did was lay this down on here no tape needed or anything just kind of laid it down on my project and just went over it gently with the ink. Just kind of wiggled it on there. And when you get done squishing it in there, it, it does a great job. You'll notice I'm not uh, like I said, I did not glue this down. I didn't push it down. I'm just pressing it with the ink. And then when you pull it up, you get the nice dark surface on there. And it's ink and it'll dry really nicely. It's also a, um, a permanent ink. It's a fade resistant ink dye. And it's also archival, which means it'll not uh, ruin any papers or anything else you have. Since I'm using it in the bathroom, that's what I decided I'd do. Now on top of the wood piece that I'm doing, I'm going to put a word on there and that will be done in vinyl. Okay, so this is my setup on my um, Cricut design room area here. And I just wrote this out in the font. It's called Samantha, and I paid for uh, this one in particular. And uh, what it is, is it measures this out. And my cutting mat is 12 inches wide by 12 inches long. If you're wondering why the M is down below, it's gonna be cut in two sections. And I thought the M was my easiest bet <laughs> on trying to get it to line up when I put it on my board. It is uh, black here, but I'm going to be cutting it out in white. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just go up here to make it. Hit that button. Oh, I have to go back. When I did a little doo-doo. <laughs> okay, well, since all these letters are loose i have to connect them so i just bring the box down and we're going to weld them with that button and now it just has one box over here and they're all together so when i hit the make it button it'll actually show up you cannot see it here but you can see it over here and it's all in one line like it was before I'm not going to do it in mirror, I'm going to do it in white, and that's, I'm sorry, this board here that I've laid it down on, and I'm just going to hit the continue button, and it will tell me that I'm connected, that I have to 
correct my setting because I have it on poster board and I need to put it to vinyl. So now it's on vinyl and I will be putting in my uh, cutting sheet. it and then I will hit the cricket part and what I'll do is bring the camera over and show you what I'm doing. Sorry. So there's the buttons up here. Now I already put the uh, cutting sheet in. You put it underneath the two little tabs and I hit the little arrow up here and now it wants me to go ahead and push the cutting part. So I push that and the middle line itself up and go ahead and cut everything off. And now it's done and I just pushed a little button there and it will spit it out and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, what you hear is a machine cutting it again in silver. So this is what I've got. If I can show you. I don't know if you can see it. You can see it a little bit. So it says the bathroom and then the M is down here. And what I'm going to do is pull off the backing and then I will show you what it looks like after that. Okay, so this is what I have after I pulled off the other part of the vinyl. It's still on the backing. So that's what I have in the white one. Okay, and then I have the um, Cricut transfer sheets. And I've cut them down to the same size. And what I do is you take off the backing here and then you lay it down on top of the wording. So the grid stays on, which is nice, and you lay it down. Try to do this without getting any of the bubbles in here. And I'm doing a great job getting the bubbles all over the place. <laughs> okay. And then what I want to do is burnish this down and um, this is just the uh, large cricket pew um, paddle this is the small one this one's got this nice bevel which is really easy to peel pieces up this one's really nice to get these to lay down again okay. 
And you really gotta mush these down because you want the vinyl to stick to the um, sheet. And what you can do is peel it up a little bit. And as long as it's sticking to the sheet like this, that's fine. So we do it on the white one. Okay, what I have to do is measure it and lay it down. And then I'm going to attach the M on this side. And uh, we will see how it turns out. So I'm going to go in from the sides here and make it even in the middle. And then all you do is basically take the backing off with the letters and you'll be laying it down and again rubbing it with the tools and then it will stick onto the back here. I need to be able to see what I'm doing so I don't think I'll be able to film that part. I don't even know if you saw that. So what I need to do is <laughs> put it down like that and it, it'll show up and you buff it and it'll stick there and then you peel this off. So I'm going to have to do some measuring first and then I will show you that process. Okay, so I've got the ruler again and measure this out on this side at three and a tiny bit. There. And then we're going to lay this down. that there because I'm not sure it's straight and I have to do some measuring and I don't want to put any pressure down on this until I get it even where I want it so Looks about right. So I'll go ahead and uh, now that bee looks a little crooked. right so we'll just go ahead finish it down Don't get it down, just go back over it. We want to give this a rocking motion. Oh, I did not get that down very good.
I'm not getting that. part and then the M I'm going to have to attach over here Measure that. Make sure it's about the right length up. And I think that's about right, but I think it might have to go over just a skosh over here. So I'm going to pick it up. And move it over. Let's see if that looks right. Double check it. Okay, and down it goes. So we're just gonna scrape this one on. Remember to wiggle it a little bit when it comes off. And there we go. Now, I know there's going to be just a teeny tiny seam right here, but I think it looks okay. It's not going to bother me any. Try to push it down a little bit, but that is the sign. I don't know if I can get it up high enough. There you go. That's how it's going to look. And I'll show you a picture of it at the end of the video uh, in the bathroom where it belongs. This whole project started because I bought a shelf to go above my toilet in the um, bathroom. And the shelf I bought had a great big space in it that just showed a blank wall. And I thought I would make a sign since I got the Cricut and I have really enjoyed doing these vinyl pieces. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.